In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at point slope, slope intercept, and standard forms of a line. And uh, the reason why there are multiple different ways of writing uh, an equation to a line is not to confuse you, but uh, some are, are more useful um, for different things. So we're going to take a look at those forms, and then we'll look at this example um, A here and kind of work through. And you'll actually see all three forms in the process. So let's start with uh, point slope form. Uh, we see this y sub 1 here and this x sub 1 here. These are the point. These are the point. So some point um, x, y, and we're saying that it's they are um, the x and y from a particular uh, set uh, or a particular coordinate. And then the, the general um, y here and the general x here are just for all the rest. And um, we'll see that here in a second. Um, we see here that the m is the slope. Um, as we've learned, uh, whenever we see m in an equation for a line, it's in reference to the slope. So that's why here you have point and you have slope to get point slope form. Um, the, the next form that we have is called slope intercept form. Here we have the, again, the slope, which is m. And we have our general y and general x again. And then we have this intercept of b. And in this case, it is the y-intercept, um, and which makes it really easy to graph if we have the y-intercept and a slope. Um, and again, we'll take a look at that um, in a different video. But this can be used, uh, this form is used differently than, than we use point slope. Now, similar to, to that, but a little bit different, is this idea of a standard form. Notice how we have a capital AX plus BY equals C, and we note that A, B, and C are all integers, meaning they are positive and negative whole numbers. So we can't have fractions or decimals um, out in front of those num of those um, variables. Well, again, we have the general x, general y here, but we don't have um, the slope in here. Um, so when we use this form, this is more for um, for your purposes finding x-intercept and y-intercept, um, which we can do by plugging in um, x equals zero and y equals zero, which uh, I also show in a different video. So let's take a look at this example then, seeing all three of these forms. So A says, given the point 5, 2 and the slope 1 half, find the equation of the line in standard form. So if we are given a point and we are given the slope, let's use point slope form. So we are going to, let's write this equation, y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. And in this case, we see that our specific point is this x sub 1, y sub 1. And our slope, which is m, is this 1 half. So we're just going to plug in everything that we know. So we look at this y sub 1, and we see that it's 2. We see that 1 half is our slope. And then we have x minus x sub 1, which is 5. Now. This is in point slope form. So now let's go from point slope form into slope intercept form, which basically to get it into slope intercept form, you're just solving for y. So here we need to distribute, we'll use a different color. Uh, let's distribute the 1 half. And so we have y minus 2 equals 1 half x minus 5 halves. Um, you could say it's two and a half if you want, because um, half of five is two and a half. Then we can add two to both sides. And so now these cancel. We have y equals one half x um, uh, minus subtracting five halves plus, let's say, four halves is a negative one half. So if we if we look here, we actually see that this is in slope intercept form. And so from here, what we can do is then take it into standard form. So let's go ahead and take y, y equals 1 half x minus 1 half. And we are going to 
get both our x and our y terms on the same side. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to subtract 1 half x from both sides. So now I have a negative 1 half x, still a positive y, equals negative 1 half. Now I cannot have any fractions in front of my variables or um, equaling a fraction. So I need to multiply by the least common denominator. Hmm. Multiply by the least common multiple, least common denominator. And in this case it is two. So I multiply everything here by two. So we say two times negative one half x is a negative one x. Two times y is just two y. And two times negative one half is negative one. And so then we notice that we have, we could just simplify it and say negative x plus two y equals negative one. We now have it in standard form. We can put that one out in front there. Um, we now have it in standard form. And so notice how we, we went from our point slope form here into our slope intercept form here and then into our standard form here. So if this was a helpful video, go ahead and like this video and to take a look at other videos that are uh, branching off of this, um, you can uh, check out my YouTube channel and um, thank you for watching.